you know what i'm not even gonna start this intro with it's been a hot minute because i realized that i say that in every intro because it's always been a hot minute since i've been post but it is what it is but today i want to do ooh, sorry if the camera's moving it's because i have a new family member here with me um i'll present to you right now in a bit but today i want to do some art some canvases i don't know just to keep my brain going to see what i could do what art i want to do and i just want to include y'all into it um okay well i didn't have, have to present her she wanted to show herself you come here mama this is peggy yeah, look up look up Peggy um I adopted her about a month ago she is four and a half she's a tortoise shell I, I think I pronounced it right um she's she's very sweet uh, she's very lovable um she doesn't scratch or bite unless you like play with her and overstimulate her but um other than that she loves to cut on she loves belly rubs and she's a chunky girl as y'all can probably see I don't know but you a chunky girl um yeah. but yeah um i adopted her from an animal shelter and ever since then she's my little baby girl you'll probably see her um in my videos a lot because i just love her uh but yeah just follow me along today with my art things that i want to do and stuff so uh, yeah so Thank you for watching and as always you are welcome with open arms and i hope you guys enjoy make sure you subscribe like and also share the video maybe if you want to share with a family member show them my art or if you want to if you know me you probably want to show your friends or your family who knows but yep uh, let's get this video started All right, you guys, let's get started. So basically what I'm doing here on this eight by 10 board is that I like to do like the white borders and stuff. So what I'm doing here is measuring it by half an inch all around and then lining it so I can put tape over it and make those lines crisper when I actually, crisper, <laughs> when I make those lines crisp uh, when I'm actually painting. So whenever I'm done, I can take off the tape and have that nice border edge. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about if you've seen art. So right here, I really didn't know what I wanted to draw. So um, I was like, you know what's coming up? Christmas. So let's do this Christmassy tree theme stuff. So I start with like kind of like the base of a tree. I didn't want to do like a pot or like the actual ground. So I was like, why do I do like a little bag that holds sand and then there's a tree on top of it. So basically I'm not doing your basic Christmas tree. I'm doing like this skinny tree. Um, basically those trees that you see all around like in like convenience stores on the side and on the roads and stuff you know what i mean if you know what i mean you know what i mean and um i also drew some like two little gifts at the bottom and i'm also drawing the outline of um the christmas lights that are gonna go all around and i also included like christmas lights at the base of the tree as you can see i know right now it does not look like a real tree but trust me just trust the process <laughs> So right here I start mixing up my color palette that I'm going to use. Um, I really recommend using palette paper if you don't want to have, if you don't want to have to go through the hassle of like cleaning your plate and stuff like that. So right here I start with um, on top, on the top right I start with my brown for the um, Christmas tree and on the side I was trying to make a lighter brown but after mixing all these colors it just turned out to be like our darkish green but a it's okay no mistakes here we'll use that color later <laughs> so um, I'm actually gonna use that color for 
the Christmas tree kind of like the dark green and then go from dark green to lighter green and stuff to add like more like depth to it um but yeah that's what basically i'm doing right here and right here i pull out my um color wheel <laughs> because i want to use colors that kind of like go all together with the theme um and make sure that everything is all um what you call it similar or maybe basically everything all together if you know what i mean so right here i also looked at the color wheel to make sure um how to make purple which is blue and red and i'm gonna use that violet purple color as the background and right here i'm just spreading it all around the background um they say that it's always good to start with the background first so because if you start with the details first it's gonna be hard to try to paint around what you already drew and you don't want to mess it up so always start with the background it really helps out a lot <laughs> As you can see, the background's pretty much done here. Um, so right now I'm just getting on the background of the floor, which is an orange color um, because I was trying to do that triadic. I forgot the name of it, but it's the little, you know, the matching colors from the color wheel. If you know, you know. You know, if you're an artist, you know. Okay, so a little explanation through this cut of the video. Um, so I did have to cut some of the footage uh, to transfer to my laptop because I did not have enough space. So you're going to see like a very, very progress of the canvas as you can see right here. <laughs> so basically um, what I've done already is built a tree, color most of the, basically have most of the canvas done already as you can see. But hey, things happen, mistakes are made and it's okay. So right now I'm just painting the little lights, um, the little light bulbs of the Christmas lights. Um, I think I used a yellow, blue, dark green, and I guess a peachy color to it. Those little red um, circles you see is supposed to be kind of like, I guess, red berries. I don't know. I was just trying to go with the theme of Christmas, but hey, it looks good to me if you ask me. Um, and right here I'm just drawing a little star on the top. Um, I think I used a little bit of that yellow and mixed it a little bit more with white to make it like, I don't know, shiny. Um, as you can see, I've added the shiny lines and I'm just trying to add like little shiny dots around it. Just basically fill in the background, not make it look too empty. And I went with my Posca pen and I started adding like white little lines to the light bulb to make it look like highlights to make it look like you know the christmas lights are on and then i also drew like little stars around like i said try to fill in the background make it not look too boring and stuff um i also went with my posca pen and i believe i added like details to the floor too because i felt like the floor was pretty empty um i didn't really know what to do with the floor honestly <laughs> but yeah so here i'm actually taking off the tape which is the most satisfying part to me um i just want to fast forward to it so i can like kind of already show the ending of this art project and here we have the finished product i did varnish it a little bit not a little bit well i varnished it quite a, a lot as you can see through the shininess of it i think it turned out pretty good i really like it i hope you guys like it too and i am really thankful that you guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video i am very thankful of you thank you so much for actually sticking in and watching all the way through the end uh it means a lot to me because i rarely put videos up and if you actually stick all the way to the end i appreciate you i love you and share subscribe and thank you so much you guys love y'all bye Thank you.